back to that point again. It's more than just putting words together. Yeah. <coughs> you know, and, so. and that's cool for yeah. for what it's cool for, like the mixtapes and the, you know when you you know when to put a freestyle up yeah. or when you hit these radio stations and you know what I mean. You want to build something. Yeah, this takes the, more than yeah, that. Yeah, but when you putting your album together, especially with these these titles that are so heavy and yeah. thought provoking, but the music don't match. Yeah. Like, like you, you just wasted that good ass title yeah. <laughs> on some bullshit music. And, and the songs might be good, but they don't invoke any feeling. They don't, they don't grab you. Uh, all right. <laughs> New game. Right. You know, I might nod my head a couple of good songs, but I walk away. I don't walk away with the understanding of who they are. Yeah. And the music definitely doesn't coincide with the title, so yeah. it's like, I feel like I wasted my time, so I go back to listening to the old shit. What's that feel like when you get feedback, when you present your life to people and then you have a connection with people? Like, how does it feel as an artist to, this is me, and then you get feedback like, I relate to you from like young kids? It's just, it's, it's great to be mentioned and recognized for your art in, mm. in any form, but you know, I always want to push, push the envelope a little more, man. Just, yeah. Just have them, have these new artists, these young kids feel like they know me, man. Feel like they want to take my music with them and shape maybe like you know when you're when you're that age the music you're listening to at that time it's probably going to shape you the rest of your life you're probably going to remember all these songs mm -hmm. why why you're growing up why you're on Fairfax or whatever why you shopping partying you're going to remember all these songs that you're hearing right now so I just want my songs to be remembered for mm -hmm. all of their lives yeah really. definitely A big part of that is, man, when you show kids that the world is bigger than their community, like, sky's the limit, man, because, you know, I didn't get, you know, I, I made my mistakes and got into it, but I didn't go too far because I knew how big the world was. I knew it was bigger than these 18 square blocks that we call a hood. You know what I mean? Three, one. Yeah. What you gonna do? Let's go. Hey, Swaggy, be kind of nice, too, though. Yeah, he nice, but he, he J.R. Smith for the West, man. I ain't gonna say all that. They either gonna help you a lot, or they gonna hurt you a lot. I haven't really seen him hurt the Lakers, though. Yeah, I mean, but it's been a, a wash season, so he ain't been in no, no moments, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and even, man, like a lot of our lingo. Yeah. Just passed around, man, and they taking it wrong with it, man. And, um, like, that's, that's, that's us. City, City of Champions, man. And yeah. We brought the form back and all that shit, yeah. is. That's, that's a good look. Man. I know you can make this shit. Can you talk about um, the basis or what this song is about? The perfect words to describe it are what Kelsey said on the hook, and <clears throat> it was produced by the homie Rocky. And um, man, everything just came out easily. You know, the lyrics came out like almost like a freestyle. just. Second Nature, it was just an emotional track that just inspired me. And man, you know, as soon as I laid the vocals down, I hit up Kelsey and I was like, I think I got something special that we could do together. And man, she killed it. So you knew you wanted Kelsey on this track? Definitely. Yeah. She was like the only, her, her vocal texture was the only thing that kind of fit what the record was. And man, it, I love what I love, it's one of my favorite records that I've done. Ooh. Ooh. 